Hello, I'm Jane. I'm the Vice Principal of the Sound Healing Academy and today I'm going to introduce to you three healing techniques with three different tuning forks. It's very effective for pain relief. These techniques are particularly good for pain in joints or in muscles. The three tuning forks that we're going to use today is an unweighted 174 hertz tuning fork. This is one that is part of a set called the Solfeggio set, but it can be bought individually. The other two tuning forks are both weighted tuning forks, so these are more for on the body. The first one is a 128 Otto tuning fork, and the other one is a mid-om weighted tuning fork. So with these three tuning forks, there's going to be three different techniques. The first one is using the unweighted tuning fork. The beauty of these unweighted tuning forks is you hear the sound much more clearly than the weighted. So when we're working with this, we're not working on the body, but we're working off the body. So you can activate the tuning fork by tapping it on a rubber puck or tapping it with a mallet. And I can hear that sound very clearly. So for now, I'm just going to do some work on my wrist. And I haven't got a particular problem with this wrist today, but I'm bringing the tuning fork close to my wrist without actually touching it. When the sound dies away, simply reactivate the tuning fork. So this is beginning the process of the healing and the pain relief. The second tuning fork that I'm going to use is the 128 hertz tuning fork. It's part of a set called an Otto set, which is a kind of osteopathic set for on the body. It's very good for pain in joints and muscles. Again, that can be activated by tapping on the puck or tapping with the mallet. Now, with this one, I'm going to put the end of the tuning fork actually on my wrist joint. Now, if somebody has a particularly painful joint or muscle, you can actually make it a lot softer on the end by just introducing a simple rubber ball on the end. You can still feel the vibration through it, although it's a little less strong, but it's just another way of working with the tuning fork. And then again, you'd hold it just above the ball and hold that on the joint. I'm actually quite comfortable with the tuning fork as it is. So you activate it, and although you can't hear it so strongly, you can feel the vibration. And as soon as you touch it on any part of the body, you feel that vibration going in. And it's actually very soothing. And then as the vibration dies away, you reactivate it before it completely dies away. And can work all around the area where it's uncomfortable. I do sometimes actually have a problem with this wrist, but ironically today it's fine, so I can't say, ooh, that's a miracle, the pain has gone. But I have known working with tuning forks to give some instant pain relief. The third tuning fork is the unweighted. I always think this is my general first aid fork. Now you see this one's looking a little different because I've introduced another tip that you can put onto a tuning fork. Simply screw that one on there. And this is a crystal tip. And I absolutely love these. This one's rose quartz, which is a healing crystal, but it's also very good for emotional healing. And I always think of this tuning fork as being very good for helping release emotions as well. So it works just the same as the Otto 128. Activate it, introduce it to the area where there's discomfort. And I feel the vibration strongly through the crystal. The idea of having the crystal is it will amplify the healing vibrations of this tuning fork that you're using. There is a really useful technique you can do when you have both the Otto 128 
and the weighted on. Now both of these tuning forks are very, very close in terms of their vibration. The hertz of one is 128, the hertz of the other is 136.1. So there's only a few hertz between. That means they're very dissonant with each other. And in terms of healing, that means they're fantastic to help relieve any stuck energy. Because it would be a bit tricky for me to demonstrate on my wrist with these, I'm going to just demonstrate this technique on a knee. So I'm going to tap one tuning fork and then the other very quickly. So they're both going at the same time. And then I'm going to introduce them very close together on my body. So you have them close, but not actually touching. When you feel the vibration dying away, reactivate. I'll just move around so you can see more clearly that I have these very close but you mustn't actually touch one against the other. So that's the third technique which is really great for pain relief and at the end you could always return to working off the body with your 174 hertz. You'll notice I'm doing everything three times. Great believer in the power of three. And if you would like to work with tuning forks and you don't own any of your own, we sell these in Sound Therapy Shop.